welcome back to my channel. I have for you guys today my June favorites. I'm not going to go in any particular order, so let's just get into it because I have quite a few things to share with you guys this month. So the first thing I want to show you guys is skincare, and this is the Pond's Rejuvenesce anti-wrinkle cream i received this in my walmart beauty box and the first time i tried it i was like okay it, you know i liked it immediately but because i was having breakout issues from other products i was trying i singled this out so that to make sure it wasn't this and then i went back to it and i actually forgot to mention this last month and it was a favorite then and it's a favorite now and i think it's amazing it really hydrates my dehydrated skin and what i like about it that even though it's hydrating it's not heavy on my skin especially now that the warmer weather is creeping in so if you guys have wanted to try this i definitely recommend it if you have dry sensitive skin and the really good thing about it is that it's available pretty much anywhere whether it's target walmart walgreens any place where they have drugstore items you would definitely 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 i recommend you should pick this up so the next thing that's part of my skincare routine um, that I have to mention that this is definitely a Holy Grail item. I'm running out. I need to pick up another one. And this is from Dr. Dart Plus. And this is the Derma Clear Micro Water. This is 250 millimeters or 8.4 fluid ounces. And if you guys can see how much I have left. Um, this is $32, but it's totally worth it. I, I don't remember exactly when I picked it up. I'll put it in the video exactly when I bought it so you guys can know how much of it I've used and how long it's taken me to get down to this but I literally use this every single day I use it to um, take off my makeup at night and I use it in the morning as a toner after I wash my face with my Liz Earl which I don't have to show you that's another favorite for this month because I actually used up the little um, bottle that I have and I have it away with my empties and I meant to grab it but that's another favorite of mine is the same thing from last month and it's the Liz Earl cleanser that I showed you last month it's amazing so if you guys haven't picked this up you need to pick it up I know that Sephora was also offering a um to get a little mini one and I know that they have a set that has a mini one in it if I could find it the promo code or the the package that has it I will link it down below but definitely I know that Birchbox has that you can get a small size of this plus one of their BB creams for $18 and I think that's a deal. So I definitely love this stuff and I will be picking up more of this when it runs out. Another thing that I've been using and I absolutely love this, I mentioned this so many times, is from MAC and it's the Fix Plus. This is a little mini one and I love that they have now one scented in coconut and I absolutely want to get one of those because you guys know I love my coconut smells. And they also have one in cucumber. So I would, if I was to pick between the two, those are the two scents that I would get. But definitely, definitely if I could only pick one, you guys know it's going to be the coconut one. But I love this to spray before I do my makeup and after I do my makeup. It's not a setting spray per se, but I do like that it helps just to make my face feel really hydrated and refreshed. And you guys know that I have dry skin, so every little bit helps. So if you guys haven't tried this, definitely pick one of these up. I absolutely love them. $10 is for this little mini one, and it just lasts me quite a while, even though I've been using it every day. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is for Makeup Forever and this is the step one and this is the base, um, the hydrating base and this is a little mini that I got from Sephora when they were having a promotion um, to get a sample of any of the, I think it's five or six that they have and I picked the hydrating one um, and they have another one that's for dry skin, I don't remember the name of it, I will put it in the video and I decided to pick this one up because I'm trying to find another face primer that I can use other than my holy grail one which is the napoleon curtis one that one's really hard to find so i want to try something that i could use when i can't find my napoleon curtis and i have to say that so far i've been liking this not as much as my napoleon curtis but it's definitely a second to my napoleon curtis so definitely i recommend this if you guys have dry skin like me and you're looking for a base to try give this one a try um, I don't know exactly how much the price is for the full size but I will have all that listed down below so please check in the description box and this stuff I just I've really been enjoying it quite a bit the next thing I've been putting on my face um, this entire month and I mentioned it last month is this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and this is the shade 5.5 now I have mentioned previously that the 5.5 is too light for me but I got it intentionally lighter because I want to mix this with foundations that I've had for quite some time for a little over a year or just under a year that I'm not reaching for but I've been mixing it again with my Buxom um, this is called Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation and this is the shade uh, Sweet as Honey and I have been enjoying mixing these two together I'm actually wearing this on my face today I try to put on today um, pretty much all the things that I wore a lot this month and this combination is amazing. I believe the price went up for this. Um, 
I think it's 32 something like that it went up any um anyways i don't remember exactly how much it is now and this is 62 dollars. but like i mentioned before i got this because i exchanged it quite a few things in sephora and i said it was going to either be now or never i was going to get this foundation because after i tried that little sample that i had i just fell in love with it and i think this is a very um great everyday foundation to wear and i like that it's medium to full coverage depending how you apply it um, if you share it out with a, a makeup sponge or if you apply it with a brush, you get two totally different applications to it. And I absolutely love it. And I think it's amazing. And I see why this thing is hyped up everywhere because it is just that phenomenal. And this other foundation, the one I've been mixing with, I like this one by itself as well. But like I mentioned, I've that one's too light. So I just put a little bit of this to make it my exact skin tone. And this foundation, I like it by itself. This to me is more like a kind of a tinted moisturizer bb cream if you want to call it and on my skin anyways and i really like this by itself especially in the summer once i get to my summer color because it just looks very nice and dewy on my skin it looks very natural and it don't look cakey and the wear of it is really really good and it's perfect to wear out in the hot weather as well it doesn't melt off of my face so if those of you who haven't tried this you should definitely get a sample and try it i think it's just a really really great foundation to wear during um those days where you don't really want to have a lot of makeup on so the next thing I've been using is this um, Objects of Affection um, pigments, and this is the rose or pink one. And I didn't, I was not able to get this when it first came out, but I don't know when it was, but I was looking on the Mac website before they updated it recently. And if you guys haven't checked out the new website of Mac, you need to go check it out. It's so much easier to shop on there and the visuals and everything it's just it's an easier process in my opinion anyways back to this um these are the pigments in here and the main reason i wanted to get this is because this one pigment um there's two well three pigments in here that i wanted to get and you know the big ones are like 20 22 dollars something like that and this is the rose one the tan and the um heritage rogue these are the three that i wanted to get and then these two came in you know as a free bonus in my opinion and it'll take you forever to use these all up and i'm actually wearing the tan one today this one right here all over on my lid and i've worn this one this raining riches the other day um one of a couple of my videos and i got a lot of comments on it so i have yet to use the rose one but there was a tutorial that um rachel did from love blending beauty hi rachel and i actually fell in love with the look so ever since then i've been wanting this pigment so i'm so happy that i was able to get this and just a tip for you guys if you have uh, anything on your Mac shopping list that you were not able to get from a collection previously, keep it on your list and always go back after the co newer collections come in and search for it inside the actual website and you might get lucky and you might find it because when I actually checked for when I found this one, because I was looking for the size to go ones, um, they had the beige one still in and another color that I wanted and I had to pick only one so I, I went for this one and then i just felt that if the other ones were still available then i would get them but i absolutely love these pigments you just need a little little bit and i love the packaging as well it's so pretty and um they've just been on my eyes the whole month like i said i've been wearing alternating between the tan and the raining riches and the whisper of pink the very first one i did point to that one actually sorry i've worn this one as well and i really really like all the colors that i've tried even that one the raining riches one i didn't think i would like it but um, my son actually helped me pick out the one to wear the day i was trying to experiment with them and ever since then i'm just like i'm in love with these pigments now i've been using it um with this brush which i want to show you guys now it's a little bit dirty so um <laughs> just forewarn you that and this is the shade inner corner the e46 from sigma i used it today you guys can see it's a very very tiny tiny brush and what i like about it is i could dip it right into the jar and just really get in and pat and place all um the pigment all over the eye like i mentioned it's very very small and this is great for detail work if you guys have pigments and you don't want to like dump out anything onto anything and it's your own personal pigment you can literally just dip this in there and just go back and just do the whole eye with just just application on this one little brush did my whole lower lid i didn't have to dip back in so i actually love this brush is one of my favorites for this month since we're talking about brushes let me continue on this one's dirty as well please forgive me for that i used it today to do this makeup look and this is the blending e36 from sigma as well let me put this other brush down 
and it's so so small and what i like about it is that it gets right into that crease inner inner crease area this is perfect for doing a cut crease and i used it today to really just define and bring out my crease a little bit more and i have been using it a lot to apply um the kat von d shadows that i've been using a lot this month and then the other brush that i've been using as well i got this in a box I don't remember which box it was with my subscription box and this is the elf small stip stip <laughs> this is the elf small stipple brush and i've been using it to apply my highlight on today and every day that i've been doing my makeup and i think it's the perfect size and it really just buffs it in nicely and i really really like it and um this is definitely better than when i got it the other time because i know i had this brush before so i don't know if they've changed the quality of their brushes or what but the one that i got before was not that great but this one i have to say has been working really really good for me so i absolutely love it and for three dollars i mean you cannot beat that i will definitely have um the sigma brushes listed below if you guys are interested in picking them up because they do sell them individually because i previously had gotten that with a set i think it was called the performance eye set something like that a while ago okay since i mentioned the kat von d it should be no surprise to you guys i've been using my shade plus light eye contour kit i absolutely love love this palette is 46 dollars if you guys have not picked it up you need to pick it up all right so let me point to the colors i'm wearing today i'm wearing this color oops let me fold the mirror back so you guys are not blinded sorry about that so these are the shades i'm wearing on my eye today i'm wearing this one on the um transition shade i am wearing this color right here let me point it right right this color right here on my inner crease and this is my highlight shade so let me tell you what colors those are and according to this is called this one's called latest Samuel and the one in here is called Lucius right here this really reddish orange color Lucius right here so these are the three colors I have on my eyes today along with the tan pigment and what I've been doing is I have been using this for my um, highlight my transition shade and my inner crease you know my cut crease color and I've just been mixing them with the pigments that I showed you earlier from MAC and I think this is like the perfect palette if you guys have like a lot of palettes that you don't use because it has like one or two colors that you like but you want to use them definitely get this one because it has the three different tones that you need um you know it has the neutral the cool and the warm tone and you can just pretty much do any look that you want because you have all the shades that you need and they're all matte so from what you can see i absolutely love that palette so since we're talking about kat von d let's just get into the next thing of hers that i've been using and it's the shade and light contour palette i absolutely love this thing i pretty much have used every single shade in here um i've been using this one a lot the shadow play for my contour and i've been mixing um i think it's lyric and levitation or maybe i got it backwards but these two shades i've been using them under my eyes so this one i put in the inner corner of my eye and then on the outer corner then i mix them together and place them on top and i have just been going crazy using this palette to do my contour and my setting of my concealer i usually set my concealer with the bare minerals or my max skin finish but i've been using my kat von d and i absolutely love the fact that it's giving me okay since we're talking about my face let's go into the two blushes i've been using this month and they're both by mac and I'm using a lot of MAC this month, so, and Kat Von D, if you guys don't like that, I'm, I do apologize, but I'm trying to really use up all the makeup that I have in my collection. Um, but before I show you that, let me talk about this one thing. Um, this is from Lorac, and this is the Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is the primer I've been using for this whole month to put on my eye looks. And then on top of that, I've been using this other primer. Let me grab that. I've been using this primer from LA Splash, and this is the Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Sealer Slash Base this ladies if you have pigments you need to pick this up you literally put a little bit on your eye and dab it with your finger rub it in then apply the pigment do not do both eyes that's just my tip to you do one eye apply the pigment finish with that eye then apply this on the other eye and put the pigment on because this dries tacky and then what will happen is if you do both eyes this will dry up and you won't be able to place the pigment as well on the eyes what i'm trying to say so these are the two eyeshadow primers i've been using and i've been loving this this mixture on my eyes like i said i put the Lorac one all over the eye first and then i put in my shadows um from the crease up and then when i'm going to put on the pigment i've just been putting the la splash on top one eye at a time and it's just been working amazingly to put on my makeup i actually love the stay as you can see it just i, I just been loving using those two things on my eyes so continue on to the face this blush from mac is called blush baby 
Now, let me tell you, doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you put it on, this blush is buildable. It's I think it's a sheer tone. It's a sheer tone, and I have had this blush on my wish list, no kidding, for two years. The first time I heard of this blush was from Karen. Hi, Karen from uh, Makeup and Beauty Blog. She lists this as one of her holy grail blushes from MAC, and I can see why, because this blush is a mauve shade but you can intensify and put a little bit on like those days that you want a really natural look you can put this on and just a real quick sweep of it on the cheeks and it looks like you just have a light flush of color and if you want to intensify it you can as well but what I've been doing I've been taking this one blush baby and this other blush that I have from MAC it's a mineralized blush and that's the only thing I like about the new packaging it's hard for me to open it but I love what's inside, so I work around it. And this is the new Romance. And I think I've used this not very much before because I couldn't quite get how to make it look good on my cheeks. But what I've been doing is mixing these two together. I absolutely love them. And that's the you know combination I have on my face is these two blushes. So what I've been doing is I take new Romance and I sweep it all over the face first with my um, Real Tex Techniques brushes. Buff it in first. And then I take the brush again and then i finish it off with the blush baby so if you guys haven't tried either of these blushes i definitely recommend both of them i think they're perfect for the summertime but if you could only get one and you want something that's more every day then i recommend the blush baby because i think it's a great blush for anyone to wear and i absolutely love the finishes of the mac blushes if you haven't tried them you should definitely give them a try um and the really good thing about the mineral mineralized blushes is that they have a little bit of a um shimmer to them so it gives you instant highlight so that's one thing i do like about using those particular blushes now talking about another mac thing i'm sorry this is a limited edition it's not available anymore but who knows, they might bring it back because they always bring things back from MAC. And this is the Fairly Precious. I mentioned this last month. I don't know what it is about this particular um, highlight, um, extra dimension, skin finish, whatever you want to call it. I've been using it a lot. It's what I have on today. I think it just goes perfect with that combination of those two blushes and this highlight as well. It's just, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And um, I mentioned before some of the dupes, whatever, and I have them listed down below. Speaking of highlights, this is totally off topic, but I'm excited for the champagne pop that Jaclyn Hill created with Becca Cosmetics. Oh my god, it's coming out in like two days. And you guys know I'm just going to be on there waiting on the set to just check it out really quick. Because I know it's going to sell out. I know it's going to sell out because they have been talking about hyping it up so much. And people absolutely love everything that Jaclyn Hill recommends. And why not? Because honestly, everything that she picks is phenomenal and amazing so let's just move on to the other things that i've been liking let's talk about lip combinations this liquid lipstick came into my life and let me tell you ever since it came in this is the cap on the lolita i see why it's always sold out and i'm gonna see that every time this is a perfect perfect lipstick to wear every single day i'm actually wearing the lipstick form today on my lips mixed with um this lip gloss from Bare Minerals, this is from a set I got a long time ago, and this is the Scene Steelers, the combination I'm wearing today. But what I've been doing with the Lolita so that it doesn't stay matte is I've been putting the other one that I have, an icon from the Marvelous Moxie, on top. And I actually have it in my Instagram. Go check it out on um, the picture where I did that. And I like the way it looks because it just looks shimmery and the really good thing about this is it doesn't go anywhere any lip gloss you put on top of this to make it shiny it doesn't budge it doesn't go anywhere i don't know what they've done with this to make that possible but you put this on with any lip gloss and it doesn't go anywhere i was just amazed at how that stayed on and the next thing i'm going to mention is another kat von d thing and this is her trooper liner i am wearing that today like i said i've been using a lot of kat von d this is seriously one of the best liquid eyeliner pencils I have used. I see why so many people have this as a holy grail item. It's really just a quick pass on the eye and it does the job and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Okay, so I have I have for you guys today three different mascaras and you're probably wondering like why three mascaras. Now, if you watch my unboxing on my glossy box, I mentioned about the Too Faced, how I prefer the smaller tube over the big tube. So when I opened this, I it was too wet of a formulation for me and I feel like it didn't really do anything to my eyelashes. But I'm happy to say that after I opened it and didn't use it for like a week and a half when I went back to use it, it gave me the same effect as the little 
um, mini size so I'm happy to say that to you guys and let you guys know because I did said I would update you but this mascara I really really like it okay so I just cleaned off the one so you guys can really see the shape it's that nice hourglass shape and the good thing about this mascara is that it's a dry formulation so it really does thicken up your lashes and it does make them look really really full and I absolutely love this mascara it's one of the ones I've been using um, the one that I'm actually wearing today this combination because what I've been doing is I've been taking this mini um, MAC uh, false lashes extreme black i've been putting this on first and then i will put the Too face on top or it's a cone shape but it's definitely smaller bristles so what i like about it, it i think it's perfect for the lower lashes so this is the one i've been putting on my bottom lashes a lot because i did have a mini one of this and a really small sample and this is the ten dollar one and i decided to pick it up to see if i liked it just as much as the little one that i have and i'm happy to say that i do so when this one's done i will definitely more than likely be picking up the fuller size of this but i love this mascara mostly for the bottom lashes by itself and then like i said put this on as a starter for my lashes and then i will either go in with the Too faced or with this one which is another mascara that I used to use quite a lot before. Um, I even started doing YouTube and this is the Lancome Hypnose Drama. And I really like the shape of this. And this is another mascara that's a drier formulation. You guys can see that. And some people don't like this mascara because they feel that it flakes on them. But I'm happy to say it does not flake on me. So like I said, I've been liking the combination of always using the false fiber first. And then I either go in with the Too Faced or the Lancome. I'm actually wearing the Lancome today mixed in with the... With the False fiber mascara is what I'm trying to say. It's a mouthful. So these are the three mascaras that I've been using this month. The perfume that I've been using this month is from Dolce & Cabana. This is the Pour Femme. And what I did was I poured this bottle into one of those atomizers. Let me show you that. So I've been pouring it into this Sephora atomizer that I have. I found that when I use these little mini bottles like this that don't have a pump in these type of atomizers, it actually lasts a little bit longer. And I'm really happy about that because the reason i didn't go ahead and buy a full size of this is because i felt like it didn't last long but ever since i put it into here and i sprayed it on myself i find that i could smell it throughout the day and i really want my perfume to last a long time so that's my tip for you guys if you have these little mini bottles put it into one of these little atomizers and you're gonna see that it's going to give you a better wear than just putting it dabbing it on yourself with your finger so i definitely love this this perfume i'm gonna get a full size of this eventually let's talk about eyebrow so everything I've been using on my eyebrows is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the clear brow gel. This is my holy grail gel, gel for the eyebrows. I love it. It's $22. And this is the brush, the number seven. This is the mini one with this um, angle and the spoolie on the side. This was actually in a set that I bought. Um, it came with the brow gel, with the brow powder, which I love, and the brush. And I think it was $36 and I got that on um, Birch, Birchbox. Yep, I got it on Birchbox. So I pretty much use that set every time I do my brows. And along with that, I use this dark brown pencil. It's the perfect brow pencil. It's a little mini. I'm running out of it. And what I basically do is I outline my eyes with this first. And then I go in with the powder. I start with the... I start with the light powder first on the inner corner and then the dark powder on the end and then I just set it with the brow gel and I absolutely love it. So if you guys haven't tried this particular um, brand and you want to try it out and more bang for your buck, I definitely recommend that set that's $36 because you get um, two products. I mean this this is $22 alone. This is a full size. And the this brush, they sell it alone for... I think it's $18 just for this brush. So pretty much you're getting like the brow powder for free. So I absolutely love that. And like I mentioned before, I've tried other eyebrow things and that's just the one that I really, really like. And I forgot to mention for tools, my beauty blender. I absolutely love it. This one's dirty. Please forgive me, but I used it today. This thing seriously applies your foundation on like a dream. If you want your foundation to look really flawless, especially during the summertime, this I highly, highly recommend it. Alright, so let me mention the two nail polishes that I used this month because this month I really couldn't decide what color to paint my nails so I was just keeping it pretty natural and the first one was Essie's um, Sugar Daddy and the other one was Ruffian Nail Lacquer. This is Ruffian Naked. This is not available anymore, I don't think, but these are the two colors I've been alternating back and forth with um, to wear on my nails. Today I'm wearing color. I'm actually wearing today... Um, the four aubrey from china glaze finally i've had this polish for a couple of months and i've yet to use it and i finally dug into my stash and i used it so i'm really happy that i did another thing i forgot to mention last month and it's from briogeo and this is the rosarco milk and this is one ounce and i think i got this in an ipsy bag 
First of all, I love how this stuff smells. Second of all, this leaves my hair so soft and hydrated and shiny. When I don't use it, I don't like how my hair looks. This is definitely going to become a holy girl item. I need to pick up more because I'm already halfway through. So I'm definitely gonna be picking this up in Sephora. So don't be surprised if there's a haul and there's another one of these because this stuff is amazing. I love it. And I love the way it smells as well. And I forgot to mention this as well, part of my um, regimen of taking off my makeup, but the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. This stuff is amazing. This takes everything off. I don't care how waterproof, resistant, whatever, this takes everything off. I think the only thing that I would want to put this to the test to see if it works for that, because all people have mentioned is the ink gel liner, which I do not own. People said that's really hard to come off. So this would have to be tried out on that to see if this is like the ultimate eye makeup remover but everything that i own it just takes it off like nothing so i absolutely love it and it's gentle on my eyes and it doesn't irritate it either because my eyes get irritated very very easily another thing i want to mention um this become part of like my nighttime routine and it's this sleep honey vanilla dream body lotion i've been using this 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 particular scent's not available anymore i got this a while ago i've been using this a lot especially to rub on my left arm my elbow because it's been very very sore and in a lot of pain and when it hurts it, it just it really drains me and it makes me really really tired so what i've been doing is at night i just rub myself with this and it really just helps to relax me and put me to sleep and absolutely love the way it smells and i actually use it on my son as well um, on those nights where he's a little bit restless i just rub a little bit on his um, back or on his um, arms wherever he wants me to rub it and he just goes right to sleep so if you guys haven't tried anything from bath and body the aromatherapy definitely try the sleep line i think it's a hundred percent like does what it says it's going to do it relaxes you and puts you to sleep especially for those of you who might have insomnia definitely give this brand a try i really hope they re-release this honey vanilla scent because it's it's heavenly i love it so i wanted to show you guys this cup it's the keep keep cup and i got this in my January pop sugar box and i haven't shown it to you guys because i actually just opened that box last month and i've been using it ever since then and this has replaced pretty much any cup that i have in my home i've been using it to drink my coffee my juice my my water my milk whatever you name it only thing is i've just been using a straw with it i don't use the lid because the lid is more for like if you go out and say you're gonna pick up your coffee whether it's at starbucks or dunkin donuts wherever you go and the lid is very secure and it's really really good i'm actually going to pick up more of these because i think they're really great and they come in handy and they come in a lot of colors and you can customize it as well okay so another non-beauty favorite half you guys um tv show hands down orange is the new black i finished watching it but i have to say since season three was kind of slow for me um it wasn't like season one and two i feel like this season was more like a build-up for next season because i binge watched season one and two like i watched that in two days each one when they finally came out like it took me a weekend to watch those two seasons but season three it, it literally took me a week to watch the whole thing but i have to say that it ended with me going like oh my god what are you what just happened so that's one of the things i like about that show that it does keep you on your feet so if you haven't watched it um and you find it's a little bit slow for you you're not the only one i just feel that that's just kind of the way they did it um to kind of build us up for season four so the movie for this month that i found was hilarious and you guys need to watch it is the cobbler with adam sandler um I really do enjoy Adam Sandler's movies. I mean, people probably don't think he's very funny, whatever, but I like his sense of humor. So if you guys like Adam Sandler, definitely you need to watch The Cobbler and also Dasha Polanco. She's um she's in The Orange New Black. She also has a small part in this movie as well. And my song this month, I have to say that I was singing over and over in my head after I heard it is Shoop by Salt and Pepper. I don't know what it is about that song. It just been playing over and over and over in my head so that's definitely the one song that i have been listening to on repeat all the time i mean there's quite a few but that's the one that i've just been like killing it on my phone and just in my head when i'm in brushing my teeth for showering or whatever okay well so that's everything that i have for you guys for my june favorites i hope this video wasn't too long i hope you guys were able to keep along with me because like i've mentioned so many times i can ramble and go on and on and on so anyways let me know in the comment section what are some of your june favorites and also if any of my favorites were some of your favorites or what you liked from what i showed you um but i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you have a wonderful day and i will talk to you guys later bye